Hello guys, welcome back to the next video. In this video, we're going to solve question number 2 from ISC Specimen Question Paper 2023. If you have missed out the previous videos, do check out the entire playlist on the channel and stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for upcoming videos so that you don't miss them out. Question number 2 is a sum on partnership where one of the partners is retiring. Kavi is retiring here. We are required to pass journal entry for the amount which is to be paid to Kavi, right? 20,000 to be paid. However, the company, the firm only has 5,000 in the bank account. There's a shortfall. The question says that the firm took sufficient loan from the bank to pay the amount due to Kavi. Okay. That is to be paid off. For that, the amount has to be borrowed. The first journal in that case will be bank account debit to bank loan account 15,000 okay that is the amount that is to be borrowed then the amount which is due to Kavi to be paid off for that the journal is Kavi's capital account debit to bank account 20,000 straight away being the amount due to Kavi paid right straightforward sum nothing much if you are able to do these two journals your three marks are secured let's move on to the or question in this sum where we have a death sum clubbed with retirement sum that was given. The previous one was retirement, this one is death. Geeta died on 30th June 22. The books are closed on 31st March every year. We have the partnership deed which says that the deceased partner, the representatives of the deceased partner would be entitled to get the share of the deceased partner in the interim profits of the firm calculated on sales basis. The sales for the year ending 2021 is 6 lakhs and in the year 21-22 till the date of her death the sales amounted to 1 lakh 20 okay the profits for the firm for the previous year is 1 lakh 80 so what we have to do first we are required to calculate Gita's share of interim profit and then we are required to pass the journal entry for giving Gita's representative the amount due to the deceased partner okay first thing we have to calculate the profit percentage of sales in the previous financial year the profit made is 180000 as given already the sales amount is 6 lakhs so in that case what's the profit percentage straight away 180 divided by 6 lakhs into 100 that's the profit percentage so that's a 30% profit. Let's write it down in terms of percentage. Right. So first part is done. Now based on this, we have to calculate the profit for the remaining period. That is from April 1st, April till 30th June. Okay. The date is 30th June. The sales are given already for this period, which is 1,20,000. Okay. Okay. So the profit till this date will be straight away 1,20,000 into 30% which is 36,000. Okay. Now we have to calculate Gita's share of profit. So Gita's share in the firm is 2 by 5 as you can see here 2 fifth. So that will be 36,000 into 2 by 5 right so that gives us 14,400 as Gita's share of profit all right part 2 says that we have to pass the journal entry so in that case the interim profit is debited to PL suspense account 14,400 and that is credited to Gita's capital account being Gita's share of profit provided to her alright so these are the solutions for these two sums for three marks if you are able to do this all of them you get three on three hope this was helpful help you to understand and do share with your friends and hit the like button if it really did we'll catch you all in the next video that we have stay tuned for more thanks for watching